Yeah, it's a That's demo. Adorable. It's it's gonna be amazing. I hope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. These these uh, these are all good. I'm good with this. Oop. All right, let's go. Time for potionomics. <laughs> oh, it's releasing on October seventeenth. Did you know oh, that? Oh, I well, I do now. W would you like to be whoever wrote this letter? Oh my gosh, it's gonna turn out to be Santa or something. Yeah, of course. My, my dearest Sylvia. Greetings from Rafta. Interesting. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. Ooh, exposition. <laughs> Her unsanctioned experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? I have a feeling Maven the Witch King is a queen is going to come back. Like, you don't mention a is something like that and a name that ostentatious without setting something up. I like how we just immediately went full throttle. It's like... Yeah, I'm having a potion shop right on top of the evil kingdom. It's fine. <laughs> Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle Oswald. Ah, it was not Santa, but it, it probably doesn't sound like me. It's fine. <laughs> I think this is still Uncle Oswald, so. Yep. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. It's kind of a strange thing to do because he... Presumably already has some. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit, unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage, question mark. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. Is this Uncle Oswald here? Like, is he just really bad at selfies? Uh, yes. Okay. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? Oh, Uncle uh -oh. Oswald. We'll never see him again. Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. I like him immediately. Great. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which is not great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. Like, well, I mean... Okay, but that's not what my first question would be. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop, my dream! What, what is your first question? My, my question is, why are there so many, why is there a big old dog stamp on? Like, look where his, how many routing things his postcard went through. In loving memory of Oswald, Aww. I will remember you. <laughs> Come to Rafta, accept your inheritance. There's definitely nothing going on here that is scary or evil. You should come, even though you're probably like a teenager. And show this town <laughs> what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. There's definitely not an evil queen. I didn't just mysteriously die. It was probably a condition I already had. Dearly uh -huh. departed, Oswald. Let's see, yeah. Please accept our firm's condolences for the loss of your relation, Oswald. Why he left everything to you and not his brother is also kind of a question. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person, or else it will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers you some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of- oh dear. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be a shack in the woods, isn't it? Oh, that must be Sylvia. Oh no! It is what a shack in the woods! <laughs> oh dear. I, I, I think he died of rat. <laughs> 
He died. He died of rat. Wait, he's borrowed so much money. Where did it go? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think you make a better Sylvia than I do, even though you're oh, in Oswald. <laughs> I'm going to make you read all the things. Strangely, Sylvia is going to sound exactly the same. Well, it's because that was Sylvia reading the letters out loud. Yeah. Mm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, I like how the word this is jiggling for emphasis. Boop, 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 boop. This is my inheritance? I would have been better off living in my parents' basement. It's bad enough the shop is in disrepair, but did I have to be saddled with Oswald unpaid debts, too? You shouldn't yes. have accepted them. That's the trick. I thought this was going to be my lucky break. Instead, I'm stuck cleaning up his messes. All right, but also maybe, maybe you should figure out why he died. Let's not speak ill of the dead now. Your uncle, Ooh. I'm sure he'd do a lot of things differently, but he was a fine man and he only wanted the best for you. Why do we have a talking owl? Oh, what a sad song, King Graham. Let's help cheer her up. A venomous snake. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Easy for you to say he probably gave you all of the vice you could eat. I don't think he is. Preposterous. <laughs> I wasn't some lowly pet. I was, well, I was his business partner. The brains of this whole operation. The operation that's currently insolvent. Is that the operation you mean? There were unforeseen challenges. Like an evil witch. But now you're here, and between us, we have everything we need to turn this place around. The owl did it. I guess I do know my way around a cauldron. <laughs> the cauldron that the owl pushed your uncle into? Mm. And I have the business acumen you'll need if you're going to make your pro potions profitable. The sun's coming up, so we should get started. You know what they say, the early bird catches the operating profit. The you're an owl! Who's Did, did you see that tip? Only smart and beautiful people with great taste will play this game. Oh. I think we're playing the wrong game. Yeah, we have to close it now. Uh, yeah. Next fest is in full swing. Thank you for taking the time to try have fun. Okay. Ah, oh, beautiful morning. Now the real work can be- I like these little bouncing people. Oh, there goes a cat. First things first, we need to craft some potions. Let's head over to the cauldron to get brewing. I'm so excited. I d d d she's just bopping. I really hope this is the spiritual successor to Cake Mania that I never got. <laughs> Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. The, like she's like, what have I gotten myself into? I think you can make a lot of money just off selling the talking owl. Probably. These ingredients are just what we need to craft some mana potions. Oh dear God, Shannon. We're the crafter for your raid team. Oh, well, that is a crying shame. <laughs> oh, do tell. Haven't learned the basics yet. Every magical ingredient contains... Magmins? Mag you said it first. Magamins. It's whatever you... <laughs> Magamins. I assume it's like a vitamin. A magamin. Ah. The arcane essence needed to create viable potions. We're, we're going to follow Star Trek rules here. Whoever says it first gets to claim the pronunciation. So ah. it, it is it is now Magamims because you said so. It's the specific combination of Magamims that will determine what kind of potion you'll create. It's strange that you don't know this because you've been working with my uncle, who's a potion master, and you claim to be his business partner to well, make a mana potion. <laughs> <laughs> you need the roughly equal quantity of green and yellow magamins. I think we know why he went out of business. We're just gonna throw some Skittles in that cauldron. Then we put yeah. these ingredients in, we can check the ratios before we commit to the brew. Yes, this is fine. Everything's fine. Oh, uh, oh, I have to, I have to put it in the pot. There we go. Oh, roughly equal. Uh... I, I guess I'll, I'll do... Oh, I remember this puzzle from Resident Evil. Oh, okay. What's the solution? 
Oh god, the solution was every once in a while you have to stop and deal with the plants that are bursting in through the window. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, it's making me do all of them. The ratio magnets looks perfect. Oh, what a hard puzzle. This will make three minor mana potions of high quality, which will be good until about level 15. <laughs> I'll set the cauldron to brew. Looking good, now we just have to give the cauldron some time to do its thing. I just, I know just what to do while we wait. What, is it clean the shop? It's time for a montage. Your potions will be ready in the afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our... Oh, no. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Oh, three minor health potions. Thank you. Cedric, no, those are expired. That's not ethical. <laughs> they won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on the shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available to sell when we open the shop. Oh no. Oh, it's a makeshift shelf. It has no bonuses. No. <laughs> good. Now when customers come in, they'll see we have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later on. Like, ones that aren't just, you know, taped oh to the wall. Oh my god, he's gonna teach you about marketing and end cap displays. Ah, cauldron is bubbling shows what's next, and could the answer be breakfast? We're ready to open the store. Let's sell some potions. You're an owl. Okay. You ready to open? All right. What's the <laughs> worst that could happen? Uh, I don't know. Look at uh, that. He's so angry. He's telling you to wish list, you ungrateful swine. <laughs> I know. Yeah, my first shift. I hope I am ready for this. You are. You must be. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Ha oh, we have to haggle? Oh, I no. Oh, it's dear. the art of negotiating with a customer in order to get the highest possible sum for your potions. Interest is the key to raising the price of potion. As you increase the customer's interest, you will also increase the perceived value of the potion. But keep a close walk on your customer's patience. If their patience reaches zero, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, Slaps customer. top of cauldron. This baby can hold so many potions. And then he spills it. And that's how Oswald died. Hmm. Aww. Of course, customers have a strategy of their own. Among other tactics, they'll try to inflict stress upon you. This is way too much like real work. I don't know if I want to keep playing this game. Well, luckily it's a demo, so you probably only have to play for a day or two. Okay. The more stressed you are, the problems you'll have. Got all that? Remember, raise their interest without burning through all their patience. Here comes one now. You've got... And then he... Bang! bang. <laughs> Good to see you, I mean it. Just by saying I mean it, I'm kind of questioning that you are. It looks if the pretty great if the price is right. <laughs> Look All at right. Sylvia, like, oh my god. I should I'm start by up. setting up my sales pitch. Look at her, she's thinking so oh, hard oh, about it. it. This is a deck building game too? Turn one. Oh no. Raise interest by four. If opener apply, set them up. There is just so much going on here. Brace yourself. All right, let's set them up. Okay. Okay, and then blocks a set amount of interest equal to its current value. What? what? I don't get it. Sure. <laughs> so we're selling it for 19 now because we increased the value by 20%. And we'll block two. Oh, it blocks stress. Got it. Oh, I need some of those. I, this, this doesn't, oh my god. We can close it out. 
Oh, it closes out the haggle and we get an additional 5%. Okay. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> Why do you need it? Over psychology. I don't know if you're good enough for our emotions. Like I'll never die. I lose my head in the starry skies. Can't change it down. I feel